Hi there, I'm Jess from Ace Broker Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch a HUD on Poker Bros using Asian Hand Converter with LD Player for our emulator and Poker Tracker 4 for our database. Now an important note before we get to the actual setup, the HUD only works on private clubs and not on lobby games. On Poker Bros, you have lobby games such as this and the HUD will not work on these games. Instead, you have to join a private club like this one so that the HUD will work. If you're not sure how to join a private club, we have a quick tutorial for that. Just go to drivehud.com slash blog and on there, just scroll down and look for this specific blog post entitled Poker Emulator Setup for Poker Apps 101. Once you open that, just scroll down again and go to Section 8. Click on that, and there you will find instructions on how to join a private club in Poker Bros. Now, I will show you how to enable root access in LD Player. If you're using LD Player version 4.37 or higher, then this, is, this step is required so that Asian Hand Converter will work. In this video, I'm using LD Player version 5, and this is how to enable the root access. First, click on the Settings button right over here. On the left-hand side, click on Other Settings, and then look for Root Permission. Make sure that it's set to Enable, and then Make sure that ADB debugging is set to Open Remote Connection. After that, just click on Save Settings. And if you're prompted to re restart LD Player, then just do so. Once root access is enabled, make sure that you close or exit LD Player first before proceeding to the next steps. Moving on, let's go to the Poker Tracker 4 setup. On Poker Tracker 4, click on Configure and then click on Site and Import Options. On the left hand side, labeled Poker Network, scroll down and look for Poker Bros and then click on it. Make sure that Get Hands from Site while playing is checked and click on Directories Configuration. Here, Make sure that the correct directory is listed, the default installation folder for Asian Hand Converter, and the correct one ends with the letters PBR underscore HH. You can also click on Auto Detect if it's not already showing there. Or you can click on Add and navigate your way to the same file path as shown above. Then just click on OK. Once that's done, click on OK again. Then go to the Play Poker tab and then click on that button, Get Hands While Playing. And that's it for the Poker Tracker for our setup. Now let's go to the Asian Hand Converter setup. On Asian Hand Converter, click on Settings. And make sure that the correct database is selected, which is PT4. Also, check that LD Player Emulator is enabled, as well as Poker Bros under supported sites. These are checked by default, but just do a quick look to make sure that they are enabled. And you can also enable or disable other settings that you require. Once that's done, just click on Apply. If for some reason, Asian Hand Converter is having some trouble detecting the correct database configuration, you can do this quick fix. Just click on Settings, then select another database except PT4, for example, DriveHUD, then click on Apply. Then go back to Settings, and this time, put it back to PT4, and then click on Apply. This will enable Asian Hand Converter to detect the correct database configuration. Lastly, 
click on Start Catcher. And that's it for the Asian Hand Converter setup. Now, we can open LD Player Emulator again and launch Poker Bros. I went ahead and opened LD Player Emulator. As you can see on Asian Hand Converter, it's currently identifying and patching. So just wait for the patching process to finish and then it will display ready. Now we can launch Poker Bros. Let's go ahead and launch Poker Bros. On the app home screen, you'll find the different games that you can play. And again, you cannot use the HUD on love games such as this. You need to join a private club like this one, which I've created for demonstration purposes. And if you're not sure how to join a private club, again, just go to drivehud.com slash blog, look for this specific blog post with this title, and go to section eight, where you can find the instructions on how to join a private club in Poker Bros. Once you've been approved to join a private club, this club will show on your app home screen. You can also scroll sideways if you can't find them. So let's go ahead and enter this private club. Inside, you will find the details of the club as well as the tables where you can play. And before you can play, you will need chips. These chips can be requested from the same agent whom you will speak with here. So the same agent that you will speak to, you can also request the chips from them. Once you have the chips, then we can now enter a table. So let's enter this one. As you can see, we're now sitting inside the table and you will notice on Asian Hand Converter that the table number or table name has appeared beside the LD Player label. This means that the settings are set up correctly and we can now start playing. And for demonstration purposes, I'll be going to play with myself so that the HUD will appear. Now we have two players and the game has started. So just keep on playing until one full hand is played and then the HUD will appear. As you can see, the HUD has now appeared below the two players and here's the symbol for the Pogo Tracker 4 HUD. And that's it. If you have further questions or need technical assistance, just go to drivehud.com support. Once you go there, just scroll down and you will find this support form over here. Just fill it out and hit send. Alternatively, you can go to Asian Hand Converter and click on Contact Support button. A similar support form will appear which you can also fill up and hit send. And lastly, on the website, look for this contact us button and click it. A similar form will appear. You can just fill it out, hit send, and someone from our team will get back to you. Going back to the support page, you can also find various knowledge-based articles that we have for common questions and over here is the section for Asian Hand Converter. I've even highlighted this specific knowledge base article, which if you will open, you will find that the contents are the same as in this video. The difference is that everything here is given step by step with text and images. Thank you for watching. Good luck at the tables. And I'll see you on the next one.